Billy here, fix it for fun. All right, got a 6.4 liter here. Um, we're gonna run a fuel pressure test on it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the do's and don'ts of these fuel pressure tests. Okay, first of all, um, if you have a gauge like this, this one on the right here, um, it is a cheap fuel pressure tester gauge and when I hook this up to this 6.4, it will not move the needle. This is a cheap gauge, I wouldn't trust it anyways, but it does work, um, but not on this fuel pressure test. Now this one here is a really nice hydraulic gauge here. It goes all the way down to zero PSI, up to 100, just like this gauge. But when you try to test a uh, 6.4 fuel pressure, nothing. I mean, it will not move the needle, guys. So, you need to get yourself a gauge like this. Uh, I use these gauges a lot to you know, test uh, fuel pressure and to test vacuum, uh, working on carbureted stuff like that. Um, anyways, get yourself a gauge like this, and there is a Schrader valve in this. So we're only testing for like four or five PSI, so or two, two to eight, I think, total, but I've never seen one of these trucks make more than four or five PSI. So there is a Schrader valve in there. Now, this hose I have has a little male part that presses on the Schrader valve to let the pressure out, or let the fuel out. So if you are just getting a hose, sticking it over that Schrader valve, pull, get you a little valve stem remover tool and pull that out. And it's fine to just slide a hose over it, like a, uh, I don't know, like a 516 hose or like a, you know, uh, somewhere in there. And then, see like right here, I took the Schrader valve out of the end of that and I just pressed a hose onto the end of it. And then here I have another reducer here and it's just kind of pressed together. You don't need any kind of clamps or anything like that because it's not high pressure. Just press it on there. And uh, let's see, you can see the gauge right here. Um, it's a little bit below zero, but uh, this is a very sensitive gauge. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the key off, turn it back on here. All right, we're gonna watch that fuel pressure go up. All right, as you can see, it's over three and a half PSI. We're looking at the inside numbers there. It's almost four PSI. Now, this is a healthy uh, fuel pump. Um, this truck come in, no start, and uh, I think the high-pressure pump is tore up, but we had no pressure from the other one. But we got pressure to this one, um, but we still have a no-start condition, so we are in trouble. Anyways, that's how you run a, and you see it dropping off there. That's how you run a, a fuel pressure test on a 6.4. Um, here's the part number for that gauge if anybody wants it ATD 5657 um, Yeah, don't use these gauges right here. These are fine for testing oil pressure and stuff like that But not not anything down low get yourself a, a carbureted uh, fuel pressure tester, you know something like that All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe